problem number 47 a circular motion addict of mass 80 kg rides a ferris wheel around in a vertical circle of radius 12 meter at a constant speed of 5.5 meter per second let's we see the figure here here a person who rides the ferris wheel has the mass of 80 kg and then the radius of the wheel is given here as 12 meter and it moves with a constant speed of 5.5 meter per second so let's we write the given first the mass of the addict is given here as 80 kilogram and then the radius of the wheel here is 12 meter and then it moves with a constant speed of 5.5 meter per second so now we have to find the answer for the first question so what is given in the first question what is the period of motion so here the period is nothing but a time period as we already studied the formula for the time period time period t is equal to 2 pi r divided by v now i have to substitute the value 2 pi multiplied by 12 divided by 5.5 so i have to find the answer let's we see what's the answer so 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 12 divided by 5.5 i got the answer as 13.71 so the time period t which is equal to 13.71 second so this is the answer for a question now we have to answer for the remaining two question what is the magnitude of the normal force on the addict from the seat when both go through the highest point of the circular path and the lowest point so when the person reaches the highest point so this is the highest point right so when the person reaches the highest point what is the value for the normal force at the same person when he reaches the lowest point what is the value of the normal force so that two things we have to find so that will be the question of b and c so for that let's we draw the force acting on that when the person who reached the highest point so let's we draw the free body diagram so when he reached the highest point the normal force acting on the person will be in the upward direction which is fn and then the force due to gravity will be acting downward direction which is mg and also your centripetal acceleration will be in the downward direction that means here centripetal acceleration and the force due to gravity will be in the downward direction but your normal force will be in the upward direction when the person reaches the highest point likewise when the same person reach the lowest point the normal force again will be acting in the upward direction but the force due to gravity will be in the downward direction and here the centripetal acceleration will be acting in the upward direction so now for getting the answer for the normal force when the person reaches the highest point we have to equate this equation so that means we have to frame the equation by using the diagram so what i have to do let's we frame the equation first and then we have to substitute the value so for the b part i have to write at the highest point at the highest point when the person who reached the highest point the ferris wheel we have to equate so here what we have the normal force acting in the upward direction force due to gravity will be in the downward direction which will be equated with a centripetal force so what is centripetal force the centripetal force is nothing but m b square over r so here your centripetal acceleration in the downward direction so it takes the negative so we have to use the formula for centripetal acceleration so how can i write this equation first of all let's we take the normal force and the force due to gravity so normal force minus force due to gravity which is equal to mac what is mac mass multiplied by centripetal acceleration so now we have to substitute the value of centripetal acceleration which is v square over r so what we have to do we have to substitute the value but at the same time here the centripetal acceleration in this question in this diagram which will be acting downward direction so we have to use the sign of negative 
we have to use the sign of negative so when you substitute these values when you substitute this formula in this what you will get fn minus mg which is equal to minus m v square over r now what we need we need only the answer for the normal force so i have to move this term to the right hand side by that it will take the positive value clear so i am going to move mg to the right hand side so therefore fn which is equal to minus m v square over r when you move this to the right hand side it will take positive value clear now we can do one thing we can take the mass as a common term so let's we take the mass outside so mass here if you take it outside what you'll get inside minus v square over r plus g right so let's we substitute the value here the mass of the addict is 80 kilogram and then the velocity the constant speed is 5.5 meter per second so minus 5.5 square divided by r value is 12 meter plus 9.8 so let's see what's the answer 80 multiplied by minus 5.5 square divided by 12 plus 9.8 so here i got the answer as 582.33 so when the person who reached the highest point what is his magnitude the magnitude of the normal force is 582.33 newton so this is the answer for part b so likewise we have to do the same thing for when the person who reached the lowest point, what we have to do? So I can write near to this. At the lowest point, which is our third question, at the lowest point, you can see here the normal force acting upward direction, the centripetal, for, centripetal uh, acceleration is also acting in the upward direction. But your force due to gravity will be in the downward direction so how we can write we can write fn minus mg which is equal to m multiplied by ac so this time your centripetal acceleration in the upward direction so it will take the positive value so we know the centripetal acceleration formula is v square over r so i have to use the centripetal acceleration formula is positive because it's acting upward direction so while i when i just substitute the formula of centripetal acceleration here the equation will become fn minus mg which is equal to m v square over r now we need the answer for the normal force therefore the normal force which is equal to m v square over r and when you move this to the right hand side negative become positive so you get plus mg so again we have to take the mass outside because the, that's a common term so if you take mass as a common term here, what is coming inside the bracket? V square over, over R plus G, right? Now I'm going to substitute the value. The mass is 80 kilogram. And the speed value is 5.5 square divided by 12 plus 9.8. So let's see what's the answer. 80 multiply by 5.5 square divided by 12 plus 9.8 so i got the answer as 985.66 or 67 we can write so here we got 985.67 newton so that's the answer for our c part clear that's it. Thank you.